I mean, this looks like something out of the future. And this is a third tier city. Xinjiang. Uh, it's a couple there, eh? just taking a picture. Oh, with a statue of a uh, Chairman Mao. Wow. Incredible. Ah, they've got a statue of Zhao. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, I'd like to speak to Donald Trump, please. <laughs> yeah, I've been banned from Twitter. There's something over in the distance over there. And it looks insane. We're going over to go and have a look at it now. Whoa, look at that. It's like some massive golden spider. UK media. <clears throat> Here we are at China's top secret nuclear laser beam. Well, welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, then my name is Jason, aka Wildman Cobra, aka Mr. Yuisa. <laughs> Mr. Yuisa. <laughs> aka Jason Jai Zai Zhongguo. Today we've come to the capital city of Guizhou province, one of the poorest provinces in all of China. And this is the capital city. It's called Guiyan. Oh, what's going on here? That guy's got a massive camera on a gimbal. Does he really need that massive gimbal? Oh, and this is the famous uh, pagoda. Zhao's gonna tell us the name of this pagoda. I'm glad I know the name. <laughs> What's it called? Jia Xiulou. Jia Xiulou. Then put the Mac down, but check the people that I'm with. Hello? Yeah, I'd like to speak to Donald Trump, please. <laughs> yeah, I've been banned from Twitter. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> this park is actually uh, its quite nice. It's just a shame that the weather so cold. Guiyang is famous for having gloomy weather. Guiyang literally means expensive sun. Expensive sun. Gui means expensive and Yang means sun. Well, that's not. Is that what it really means or that's just its nickname, is it? I just spotted something over here. Look at this. What the hell? It's all in unison. Some kind of tennis ball activity. What the hell? I've never seen anything like it. Oh, it's some kind of dance. I must say, this is quite a uh, lovely uh, park, riverside walk. Oh, we're just going to this little uh, underground passage now. If this was in the UK, it would just be teeming with homeless people and a few crackheads. Yeah, just two eyes having a lovely chat. <laughs> this river is massive. What's the name of this river? Jiao's going to tell us. Nam Oh, you actually know? Oh, I do. Nam Ming He. Then put the Mac down, but check the people that I'm with. Now, looking at this place, you wouldn't think that this is one of the poorest provinces in all of China. I mean, this could be anywhere. This could be Shanghai. Um. Look at all these buildings along here. They're, each one is like different style. Mm. That one's... Uh, that one looks very, very yuisa. Uh, um, I mean, this is a third tier city in one of China's poorest provinces. And this area is just uh, very, very 
Lovely. What's this here? Is that? Oh, that's the gate of uh, Guiyang, is it? This actually looks like some kind of uh, jogging path. It would be great to uh, jog down here. Unfortunately, uh, I'm a lazy kind of person who doesn't even jog, so... <laughs> that building over there is the Guizhou Minority Museum because Guizhou's population is made up of 40% of minorities. And so they even made a museum. Should we go and look inside? Don't know what's going on. This must be Grandpa Central. And you see this uh, kind of pebble, uh, pebbled uh, flooring. You're actually supposed to walk on it barefoot and it massages your feet. Uh, I'm not going to take my shoes off because it's a little bit wet. Anyway, ah. Oh, this guy is playing the uh, <laughs> Ah, this guy here is playing the Ahu. <laughs> then put the Mac down, but check the people that I'm with. Oh, and it's singing. Wow. Incredible. Actually, a funny story about uh, the first time I saw an. Was in Shanghai. What's that globe over there? Let's go look at this globe. I was in Shanghai and uh, there was a guy playing it on the street side, uh, by the, on the street. And I actually thought he was a worker who just finished work. <laughs> and he converted <laughs> and he converted his hammer <laughs> into an instrument because it looks like a hammer. And I thought, oh, that's that's. That's uh, uh, what's it? That's um, that's like clever that he changed his hammer into like a violin. <laughs> I didn't know it was an actual instrument. I thought he just added some strings to a hammer. That was the first time I saw an erhu. <laughs> what's this? Welcome, welcome to welcome to where? Welcome to. <laughs> oh, obviously. Welcome to Guiyang. <laughs> Where else? <laughs> Welcome to Guiyang. Thank you. Huang, Huang Ni. I just saw this over here and I asked Jiao and I said, Oh, what's, what's this over here? Is this some kind of natural, uh, natural spring over here? And uh, I just found out it's actually the, the piping like from the toilet. <laughs> I thought it was a natural spring. I was all, almost about to have a little dip in. Turns out it's just the toilet. <laughs> Whoa, look over there. Man, look at that bridge. I just love it when the skyscrapers are disappearing into the clouds, into the fog. Ah, there's a Xinjiang uh, couple there. Eh? Just taking a picture. Oh, with the statue of a Chairman Mao. Wow, it's massive. Oh, it's right in front of the uh, minority building. Wow. There's something over in the distance over there. And it looks insane. We're going over to go and have a look at it now. Oh my god, what is it? You can see over there, there's a 5G uh, tower because Guiyang is actually becoming a, uh, what's it becoming? Jao's now gonna tell us <laughs> a 5G hub, is it? Honestly. Something like that. Guiyang has the data. best yeah. big data. Guiyang has some of the best 5G in all of China. Because you know why? Why? I know why. <laughs> why? You know <laughs> why? That's you. the reason? <laughs> <laughs> uh, because the temperature in Guiyang is so cool. Cool you don't need aircon in the winter. You don't need like you don't need heat machine in the winter. You don't uh -huh. need aircon in the summer. Uh -huh. So you actually save a lot. So they like the, 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 the machines and servers can last in this kind of climate. Is that and what you also, mean? Are we going underground? Yes. Right. Let's head underground. Wow. Jazz mumbling, jumbling in this video <laughs> about 5G. I'm just trying to explain. Do you know? I... So we're trying to get across, are we? <laughs> Jazz keeps on mumbling and jumbling in this video about 5G. <laughs> What are you explaining then? I'm saying 
the reason why they say Guizhou as the uh -huh. uh, big data center is because uh -huh. of the weather and also because of the mountains. The, oh, so the mountains. So you can't hack, us. <laughs> so you can't hack the. Uh, oh, which way are we uh, going? This way or this way? I think this way. This way. There's a lot of underground uh, passageways in uh, Guiyang. I like to nickname Guiyang the underground city of China because you literally come underground and there's a whole nother world down here. Oh, look at this over here. Hang on, look at this. Ah, oh, they've got a statue of Zhao. <laughs> that is just, the resemblance is just uncanny. Looks exactly like Zhao. <laughs> I'm just joking. Whoa, we're getting closer to this insane kind of structure. I have no idea what it is even. It looks like some kind of postmodern, futuristic, robotic spider. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how Jia's gonna write the subtitles for that part. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's a goat. Oh, these are all the uh, the twelve zodiac signs. Ah, you want some more? I'm Mason Dasni. What it is, is they have, they have all the 12 zodiac signs. This one. There's a zodiac sign of a goat. Yes. So there's 12 zodiac signs in, in, uh, in, Ch in China. And my zodiac sign, you may know, is the cobra. That's why I'm called Wild Man Cobra. And now I've just spotted it over there. Oh my God, it's beautiful. This is my zodiac sign. This is my spirit animal, the one and only Cobra. Wow, it's beautiful. Wow, just look at it. Now we're getting closer to this insane kind of structure. And Jao, once we get there, Jao's gonna explain what it is. Hold on to your hats. I mean, I've been to, Gui I've been to Guiyang a few times, but I've never actually can't come to this area before. I don't know why. <laughs> Oh, look at that. It's like some massive golden spider. Looks like a transformer from the future. Right, now Jao's gonna explain what it is. Can you explain what it is? I think it's a... It's a what? Hurry kind up. Kind of like a minority <laughs> instrument. Ah, so it's a musical instrument played by minorities. Ah. The Bui minority or the Miao minority? Well, very, inf very informative of Jiao once again. <laughs> UK media. <clears throat> Here we are at China's top secret nuclear laser beam. You can see in the center there, the laser beam will shoot up into the sky and destroy the Western world. <laughs> wow, look at the... Uh, I don't know what tree that is. Jia says it's a secure, secure tree. It's uh, blossomed. Ah, people taking pictures there. Wow. Ah. Oh, we're getting closer to this uh, bridge, are we? Oh, look here, there's a nice little uh, path uh, surrounded by uh, bamboo. Ah, someone uh, in traditional uh, Chinese clothes there. Taking a picture. Now look at the size of this bridge. Man. Hold on, look at this bridge. Hold on a second. You can see the cars below there. I mean, this looks like something out of the future. And this is a third tier city. That is huge. Oh, there's um, there's an old man down there and he's dancing on his own. Oh man, I feel so sad. If anyone's in Guiyang, go find this old man and uh, do some dancing with him. Come to this park, it's near that golden it's near the golden uh, instrument. Oh, let's help this guy out. 
This actually reminds me of, um, you know, the bridge in London. What's it called? Near Big Ben. London um, Bridge. <laughs> London Bridge, nigga. Town. <laughs> anyway, there's a bridge similar to this in London. Oh, Tower Bridge. But let me tell you, is it Tower Bridge? On Tower Bridge. And oh. it's just completely packed with like con men trying to con you along the way. But look here, nothing. Just a lovely bri bridge. <laughs> what does that tell you? Yeah. Alright, that's the end of this video. And I'm signing off from the streets of Guayan. And I'll see you in the next one. Signing off. Signing off. <laughs>